Yeah, God, I'm so dark. So we're starting it. I'm so dark. <laughs> Everybody. Look at that that fader action. Sounds awful. Hi, everybody. How's it going? For those I'm, who don't know who we are, my name is G. And my name is Chris. And this is Best of Five Podcast, brought to you by... My Backyard. That's right. Because we're... It was too nice not to do it. Yeah, it's it's like springtime finally. The wind isn't bad today. It's a nice crisp breeze. Make crisp. you feel refreshed. That's a good word, crisp. Yeah. It's like most my name. Uh-huh. That's why it's cool. I mean, that's why it's cool, because it's not your name. Wow. Yeah. It's fun. It's cool. But hey, if you're listening to this, uh, you know, we're doing this outside, testing out the new the new equipment, the new gear. Mm-hmm. So, so pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah. How are you, sir? I'm good, man. How are you? I feel like I haven't seen you in forever. Uh, it's been about a week. Uh, it's been about... Last Wednesday. Was it last Wednesday the last time I saw you? <laughs> yeah. Shit. So it's been about a week? Yeah. That was our live stream. Oh, man. Was that fun. It was good. If you guys haven't checked out episode 69, which coincidentally came after episode 70... You can go back and watch it. It's live on YouTube. Yeah, make sure you don't check out episode 69, 420, though. That's a different episode. Yeah. So. That was two weeks ago episode. Was it really? Yeah, that was Skip's. God, the yeah. time flies by when you're having a good time. Yeah, when you bank a bunch of episodes in like three weeks. Because <laughs> we're going to be busy in June, baby. All oh, right. yeah. Well, speaking of being busy, let's get busy. All right, let's do it. That sounded really gross. I'm down, though. <laughs> no, I'm good. First subject. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to love that button so much, aren't you? Stupid. One. So, Chris. <laughs> so, G. <laughs> you got the time ready? Yeah, I'm ready to go. What's the first subject? First subject is worst flavor of anything. Oh. I know we've done a couple bad alcohol flavors. Yeah. But now I think we can branch out into anything. It's still pretty much the same thing. Anything peanut butter tasting that's not peanut butter. <laughs> still, still, still that. still really gross. Um. I will definitely say anything. I don't know why this is a thing now, but every restaurant or every company is doing a flaming hot something. Oh yeah, that yeah, that came out of nowhere too. Yeah, I still haven't had the flaming hot Mountain Dew as of recording, but I definitely plan to have it so soon. So next week, next episode, we're having that. I kind of want to try it first nope, before at, we do it live. We're doing it live, baby. I guess okay. We're not live, but recorded. Yeah, <laughs> we're documenting is what I'm saying. Yeah, we're documenting your experiences. Yeah, I mean. So the story behind like, the hot Cheetos things is kind of kind of interesting. I think I might be wrong on this, but I think it was like a janitor that came up with the idea, and now he's like a bajillion up on, high, high up like on the on the thing of like Frito Lay's. Oh, nice. But yeah, I mean, hot Cheetos are the, this. That's the way it should be. Flaming hot, anything else? Not really great. The fries are actually pretty good. The yeah, hot fr- fries. Yeah, I want to say like Buffalo Wild Wings has a flaming hot Dorito flavor. But it's With, still fr- flaming hot. Yeah, so I was like, okay. And then Applebee's has a flaming hot Cheeto flavor. So I'm like, what's the difference between flaming hot Doritos and flaming hot Cheetos? I legitimately don't know. Yeah, someone from Frito Lay, let us know. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, we'll, we'll go with I mean, definitely flaming hot anything. Yeah. Except for Cheetos and except for Cheetos and Cheeto fries. Yeah, I can go with like chips, any chips. I didn't take the Doritos. There you I go. think I'll be all right. That's pretty good. Yeah, flaming hot Lay's, whatever. Don't care. But like when you start branching out into like liquids or like various sauces that go on stuff i'm just like all right we need to we need yeah. to calm down I, we do need to show that mountain dew one on on, on the video though yeah um, you know what's also really really gross is uh coconut anything coconut can suck it oh yeah like even like actual coconut it's like gritty and weird tasting to me but then like the fake coconut flavor is just not fun i don't like well I, for one i don't like coconut in general so it, i mean Adding a flavor to it doesn't make it any better. Yeah, I guess that's fair. But also, like, there is, like, some flavors that don't taste like the actual fruit. Like, grapefruit flavor, I actually enjoy, but I hate grapefruit. I don't think I know. I don't think I've ever, like, legitimately tried to eat a grapefruit. Yeah. Neither so, I, I don't know what grapefruit fruit actually tastes like, I don't it tastes, think. It tastes like shit. Yeah, okay. Like, isn't um squirt supposed to be grapefruit flavor? Yes, that's what I'm saying, but it doesn't yeah. taste like, like, a grapefruit's, like, super bitter. Yeah. Like, really bitter. And I just not my thing, so. But yeah, hmm. like squirt, hmm. yeah, it's pretty fine. Yeah. Um, Dum Dums, their their grapefruit flavor is actually really good. Yeah, I wonder if like I don't know if would you just like add a bunch of sugar to a grapefruit, would it taste better? I mean, that's how my sister eats it, and they have like the stupid, stupid special like spoon for it too. Is there a special spoon for yeah, it? Really? I think it has ridges. 
Maybe wrong. I don't know. It's like a spork, but with a knife. It's a spin knife. It's a spoon, but it has like ridges like on the outside of yeah, it. Yeah, so it's a spin knife. A spin, yeah. And so are you supposed to like scoop noon? it out and like use your finger for it? Or are you going to like noon. cut your mouth open? I don't know. <laughs> I don't really, excuse me. I don't really uh, eat grapefruit, so that's fine. Um, <laughs> that's fair. Grape flavored. You like grape flavor stuff? Uh, Not fake grape. I want that purple drink. Yeah. It's like. Grape Kool Aid is the, the best, though. Grape Kool Aid is the best, but grape Kool Aid doesn't taste like grape flavor. Like grape flavor is that like medicine y fake syrupiness. Mm. And purple Kool Aid does not taste that way. Purple Kool Aid tastes delicious. But I also think purple Kool Aid is like grape and berry. Berry grapes. Yeah, it's like grape berry or something. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I don't know, man. Uh, but it's delicious. My favorite flavor. Grape? Yeah. Oh. Well, Kool Aid purple. Oh, yes. Absolutely. Yeah. And Gatorade purple. Gatorade yep. grape is my favorite, too. Yep. Yep. Um, they do it correctly, but like candies and stuff, it yeah. just tastes like medicine. Jolly right? Rancher's not bad. Really? You like. Mm. I don't mind. I mean, any, any mm. Jolly Rancher flavor is, is fine by me. All right. It's the Skittles you have to worry about. Uh, oh, yeah. Right? The Starburst. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, what was I going to say? Uh, watermelon. That, that's like a new, uh, one that I've been seeing a lot more often. Yeah. I don't know if I like it or not. Watermelon's a hit or miss for sure. It's just, it's too sweet regardless. I agree. I agree on that. It's like, watermelon is <laughs> not <laughs> very... <laughs> it was like when we got that gum. Well, I got that gum. Oh, you got like that idiot. gum? Yeah. Yeah, that, that's like, the pity of for sure. Right now we're drinking Red Bull that's a uh, strawberry yes. apricot. It's not bad. It's mostly, I get mostly strawberry. Here's my thing about this, is that you should just make it one flavor and not mix them. Well, that's how you because then it just everything just tastes the same to me at that point. Yeah, I guess like I can taste the strawberry. I can't really taste the apricot too much in this, but um, I'm trying to think of oh shit, I can't do that. I forget. Nerd rookie move there. Um, I guess the warmer it gets, the more apricotty it is. That's fair. Yeah, that's, that's, that's weird. Mm. I feel like the older I'm getting, the more I'm like artificial shit. I'm not really about anymore. Yeah, except for vanilla. vanilla Sorry, I hear the birds in the background now. <laughs> It's officially summer, I think. Spring. Spring. Spring has sprung. Yeah, spring is sprang. It's broke. Um, yeah, vanilla. It, I don't know, man. I don't really have that much vanilla flavored things. Well, well, that's the problem with it, too, is that you like to have actual vanilla super expensive. Mm -hmm. So you mostly probably are going to taste like thousand dollars per half a pound. <laughs> yeah, for real. Yeah. It's just like drug money, right? Dude, drug, for real. Drug money value right there. It's because it sure. comes in like two regions ever you want some vanilla yeah i got <laughs> vanilla for some <laughs> hey ch -ch, come here ch -ch, ch -ch. hey pss, pss, pss. vanilla bean <laughs> black market vanilla dude <laughs> are we starting a new company uh, i guess we are and that's what we're calling it black market vanilla <laughs> <laughs> yes all right that's amazing <laughs> and we sell kidneys yeah <laughs> Not even <definitely>. vanilla <laughs> um orange stuff um i can get down on orange popsicles and orange soda if I'm craving it. Other than that, I got. What's well, nah. to think of like what's like the one flavor that every, like no one likes lemon. I like, love lemon flavor shit. That's probably like, like Starburst. My like Starburst. Yeah, like just lemon candy really? in general. Lemon cake. Do lemon poppy seed bread? Mm, I love lemon flavor. Uh, yeah, no. So yeah, lemon uh, lemon heads are pretty good too. I will say that. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. I just feel like there's specific like flavors that go specific like candies or sweets that don't go. Yeah, like a lot of the Starburst flavors I can't do. Really. Like, I mean, pink is the best, and then it's red, and then for me, it's like yeah, because what are the it's it's a pink, yellow, red, orange, orange, and I think that's it. Is that really it? I think that's it. God, this is well, the OG. Starburst. This is like one color, like part of like the color a color wheel. Yeah, yeah. Like oh yeah, let's just stick with like, the reds and yellows. It was like cherry, lemon, orange, and then I don't know what pink is. Strawberry. I think strawberry. Yeah. Yeah. No one likes the y yellow. Yeah, I mean, I do. I like my favorite is like putting the yellow and orange together. Like when you get like the Halloween candy Starburst where it has the two pieces in there. Yeah. The best ones were just one yellow, one orange. I'm just like, yes. That's gross. Yeah, no. I, that's all about the pink for me. I bet it is. And that is time. Ending on a really gross note. <laughs> Let us know what flavors you uh, you don't like or despise or, you know, you really don't enjoy or ones that you do because honestly, that might be a thing. So. I don't know. Give a thumbs up for the Lemon Gang. That's all I'm saying. Also, I gotta say that this is like super chill. I feel like like the birds are chirping, your winds are the winds chiming. Yeah, dude, it's super chill. Out we're here. like like, like leaning back. So yeah, if, we, this, if it seems like we're high, we're not yet, at least. But uh, yeah, this is. Uh, this I is, mean, high on all this cotton floating around. I don't know if you could see it on camera, but no. we got a swarm rolling in real, <laughs> real soon. All right, let's move on to the second subject. All right, round two. 
Hey, Chris. What's the next subject? I can't do it. <laughs> the next subject is metaverse. <laughs> that is so uh, yeah. We have new buttons that we can mess with, and we're not doing great with it. So. Yeah, we have a. We probably mentioned this a dozen times, but we have a soundboard on our board now, and it's it's pretty nice. Extra fun. Yeah. Um. So okay. So the uh, the metaverse. The, the metaverse. The new offspring of facebook which it's, is no longer facebook no, facebook is now meta no the offspring is ready player one i guess i think i don't know man i don't know how to feel about the metaverse okay so let me tell you real quick i just i rewatched uh ready player one about that yeah, was last week actually i was i was gonna watch it last week too it's really bad yeah that's why i didn't watch like, it steven spielberg kind of uh chat the bed just kind of sucks now yeah <laughs> like okay he doesn't suck now but he's just not as good as he used to be I yeah that, that movie did not it was um, not good it was just like too many cameos like just like ooh, video game character video game character yeah, video it's game character kind of like the mcu just putting random cameos in a bunch of shit now. <laughs> that's great oh, uh, okay, hey so, <laughs> hey non-specific yeah, yeah spider-man 3 dude oh uh, yeah of course yeah. jesus yeah. christ <laughs> uh i don't know man it's kind of weird because i feel like eventually it's going to be pushed on everyone mm-hmm. but like right now it just seems like it's such like a niche thing yeah you know because like i don't have an oculus i don't have like a vr set yeah and like i don't know my problem with the whole metaverse is like they brand it as like oh look at this brand new technology we invented and Which it's like it's like the 80s yeah, and i was like yeah man it's like there was literally a popular game that came out in like 2015 that was literally exactly the same as metaverse but it was better like, you can pick whatever character, like, people run around as Pikachu. Remember that whole Knuckles meme? No. Like, show me the way? No. Nope. No? I guess you're fucking old, so that makes sense. But that was from the game. That was from the first metaverse. Yeah, I mean, it seems like it's going to, like, the, it's the evolution of where the internet's going. But at the same time, it's like, how miserable are we with reality that we have to go to a different reality just to be miserable? I mean... <laughs> like, you know, like that's, that's yeah. pretty much how I feel about it. Because yeah, it's yeah. like... You know, you have, that's been video games forever though yes but with video games like we could escape it by still being in reality right so like when we're like during the pandemic i don't know when, I, I don't know if like the, the, the metaverse actually maybe the metaverse would have been just as, like if it came out like at the, during yeah, the pandemic yeah. it might have been revolutionary but like we played call of duty like for like well, that's what i'm saying 18 hours like that at the time yeah dude it was it was gross it was awesome it was cool but it was gross dude i was like re- like reviewing some shit i was like all right cool yeah i don't know but yeah like i don't know man like when i play video games i don't like say like oh i'm sitting here in front of my tv i'm like in the game like everything peripheral just disappears i'm just in the game no I, i'm more like unless my cat comes and pets me or touches me and i pet my cat yeah i think there's so many distractions outside that I, that I, you know i can't do that but i don't know man like the whole idea that, you, that now there's like harassment going on like they're actually oh like, yeah like, oh yeah that was wild like they're building like 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 barriers between people i'm just like jesus christ man it's, it's like welcome to the internet facebook i don't know how you didn't notice this <laughs> Yeah, I mean, let's be real. Until porn discovers a breakthrough in the metaverse, yeah, it's, it's not going to catch on. It's not going to catch on. And I hate to say it that way because yeah, porn is definitely a pioneer when it comes to technology. Yeah, I mean, if you look it's at like, it, it's like military, and then porn. Well, so uh, it's weird that you say that and because then wire. yeah, <laughs> it's weird that you say that because <laughs> whatever technology like porn grasps onto tends to flourish. So if you look at um, HD DVDs versus Blu-ray, which one's popular? blu-ray you know why because because that's what porn picked and now it's not popular anymore because streaming yeah you know what streamed first besides netflix YouTube? second one porn was it youtube all right not netflix youtube oh yeah With like internet streaming yeah I porn. Mean, well they came up with like the credit card payment system online yep uh they think that they were also like working on like even like enhancing like cameras and shit mm-hmm. it's insane like the obsession that people have with porn is kind of crazy. Yeah, the obsession that people have, yet nobody watches porn, is absolutely wild. I mean, I know I don't watch porn, no, so I'm a I'm a Christian. Yeah, I'm a good I'm a good boy. Love Jesus, and Jesus loves me. Sometimes at the same time. I was gonna just go into a rabbit hole, but I'm just deciding not. So I'm gonna move on. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you about good. it later. Yeah, it's, no, it's, it's definitely a good idea. It was like this is not gonna go up, well. but no, yeah. I don't know. It, it is one of those things where. It's going to be interesting to watch kids grow up with that mentality of like this is like what's reality and what's not. Like I can't imagine how kids see reality now. Yeah, for compared real. Compared to like how we see it. Yeah, yeah. Because we we were like again I've sure I said this a million times like we were like the last generation that went from analog to digital. Mm-hmm. Still like electronics. Don't get me wrong, you know. But, yeah, yeah. But, but yeah, like just, we still played outside. We had didn't have cell phones until like high school ish. 
Yeah, and it's like, like maybe middle school if you were like rich. You have kids who are like two or three years old who know how to use a phone now. Yeah, yeah. And it's such that's just crazy to me. And yeah, like literal, like literally, like kids are getting raised on iPads and shit, so they play on Facebook all the time anyway. And it's just like a next logical step to go into the metaverse. So it's like, <laughs> so it's like that. You know what, exactly what it's going to be like. It's literally like that Dave Chappelle skit. Of course, like if the internet was a real person. Oh yeah, it's exactly how it's gonna be, dude. Yeah, He's just like, like pop ups everywhere. Like Ninety nine cents. Like you want some free music? Yeah, yeah. Gets a virus. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, I don't. I mean, cool. That just means you got to buy more shit. Yeah, for so, like, real. Don't just have your phone. You have to have your phone, and then like this like like VR set. Yeah, thingy. I kicked the little thing. Don't do that. I tried not to. I'm sitting really um, close. I mean, I don't know. I've also ne- not done a lot of virtual like VR stuff either, so I can't. Uh, yeah. I'm sure once I get into that position and be like, oh yeah, I get why this is popular. But as of right now, I maybe like I've done like VR maybe two or three times. Yeah, I'd, I've done VR a handful of times, but like I'm just not that into gaming anymore. So I don't try to be like on the you know the edge of yeah. like where the new technology is yeah we're still rocking ps4s from like 2012 yeah my ps4 is like <laughs> Dude, i think my ps4 came out it's working right as the remake for grand theft auto came out yeah, for ps4 yeah i mean yeah. i have like the first generation and like I, i've been playing it i started playing it recently because i think I, I don't know what i don't know what i got but <laughs> it's like struggling it's yeah, like it's loading <laughs> loading <laughs> I'm like, oh god, I'm so sorry. I didn't retire you, but again, I'm, I'm kind of like on your boat. I'm just like, ah, like I'd rather just not spend my time doing that and doing things that are more productive. And that's, I think that's ultimately kind of what, what scares me about it is like, how productive are people going to be now that that's a thing? Yeah, because you, I mean, eventually you'll be able to make money on the metaverse, so therefore you're going to be able to right. Live on and it, then right? it's like, where where are we going to have to draw the line of like social media influencers just strictly in metaverse? So it's going to be like Instagram, Twitch. You know, YouTube, all of that is just going to be, oh, I'm watching somebody play a game you think inside the metaverse. Yeah, you think that's like the gamble that Facebook's, Facebook's taking of being like, we want to be called like what the internet was called. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like that idea of someone named it the internet and then it just stayed that way. So mm-hmm. then it's like, we're going to name it meta that way. Whatever this becomes outside of like the, the internet, it's going to be just meta. Yeah. Like it doesn't matter what company uses it. Yeah, it's going to be wild. <laughs> but uh, I kind of like it. Sad or depressing. And that's time. But also, I mean, like, it's not depressing. It's evolution. I guess. I don't know it's if I like it. It's just not our evolution. Yeah, it's not going to be for us. We just have to see. I guess that's a huge disconnect from, like, you know, like our grandparents and our parents' age is, like, any new technology is, like, Meh. But us is, like, it's not for us, so I don't care. And I think you that's, know? yeah, and it, sorry, I know we're, we're, we said time, but it is, like, that evolution of going with change. Yeah. I think that's why, I think that's why we're seeing a lot of what's going on right now is we have a lot of the older generation that like the older generation still being alive and being alive longer mm-hmm. that you're seeing the change that's going on and it's so much more faster than what they're used to. That's kind of like, Oh shit, this is not okay. Yeah. Like social, like economic, techno- like technological, and all that stuff is like that. And you see us and we're just kind of like, no, it's just nothing new. Like, you yeah, know, for real, for real. We went, I mean, we went from iPhone one to the 13 and, like what 12 13 years yeah what did iphone the first iphone came out in 2007 yeah Yeah. 14 years 15 i can't do math i mean assuming once a year it'd probably be around 13 we're on 13 now well that's what i'm saying so so, yeah yeah. okay i don't know yeah so let us know what you guys think of the metaverse i I mean honestly like i i don't care for it but also i don't it's i don't think it's meant for me either yeah i don't think so or our age group Mm -hmm. or our well neither is tiktok that didn't stop a bunch of fuck of Fucking Again, old dude, ass millennials getting need, on there. All you need is just a millennial in around a viral thing, and then that that's that's it. Yep. Moving on. <laughs> yes, that was so good. Round three. All right, Chris. What's our next subject? <laughs> Taylor Swift. <laughs> was that good? I was trying to go like true crime mysteries on that. Why don't you take a seat? <laughs> <laughs> My name is Chris Hansen. Please take a seat. <laughs> All right, so Taylor Swift. There's, there's a lot to unload here. <clears throat> yep. First, first and foremost, let's let's give credit where credits due. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, so recently she she re-recorded like pretty much all her songs, her entire least, catalog, her entire catalog, and call it Taylor's version, which kind of I think comes off as like narcissistic at times. Yeah, but it's actually for a real. It's for a cool reason. She pretty much re-recorded everything. She has the rights to all her songs. Yeah. So. 
not to get into a little nerd shit, nerd but shit. basically music ownership is broken down into two separate categories. Yeah. The writer category, writer composer category, which Taylor Swift is in. So she has the exclusive rights to play that song wherever, whenever she wants. And then the recording rights. So then when she records a song at a studio, then that studio owns that song. Yeah. So the issue was her old record label owned all of her songs. Mm -hmm. So what she did was re-record them at a studio she paid time for. So then now she has the recording rights to those songs in Taylor's version and still withholds the songwriter rights. Yeah. So which now is, she gets all royalties from it. Which is nice if you have the money to do that. Yeah, for real. And, like, I don't know, if you're a radio station, I mean, they sound almost identical. Yeah, yeah. They, she did they a really good for job. For yeah. sure. Uh, like, it's produced better on a lot of them, but. Yeah, and what's crazy is, like, it was a big F you to, like, the, the music industry. Which oh, 100%. That's, that's the one thing that I'm also, like, that's where I'll give her credit is because, like, there were so many people reaping off of her benefit, of her music and, like, what she was doing. And she wasn't receiving, like, most of the percentages of it. Which is why she was like away from like Spotify and and all these things. So that was really cool. But I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I'm not a Taylor Swift fan. Yeah. So I guess going on what you're saying, she wasn't receiving most of the financial compensation from all of her music. Yet she is a millionaire. Yeah, man. I mean, so like I get it. So like you know, like let's say like you for example, who like did all of your own independent recording and all that kind of stuff. So you own 100 percent of your rights. Yeah. And it blows all, up. All 38 bucks of it. Right yeah, now. all 38 bucks. And it, like, just say, like, you blew up, right? You own all of that. Yeah. And then you get picked up by a record label, and then they record something, and they give you $100 million to record the songs you already recorded. Yeah. But I, I, yeah. So, I like, know. I get it, but at the same time, it's like, man, you made so much money. But you, Do you really need that much, that mo more money? Okay, so let's, let's talk perspective on this. Because I agree with you 100%. I really do. But I think that the thing that we have to kind of take in consideration is, like, what upbringing she had because if you always had money you're always going to strive for more right yeah like if you're if you're us and like, oh hey, you mean how both of her parents are like accredited musicians in the industry yeah are i think songwriters like she, i forgot like she what was they like are. set from the start you know what yeah I mean? like if we were to be like hey we want to record your album we're going to give you guys three million out of the 50 million that we make yeah we're not saying no to that yep <laughs> we're gonna be like oh two million yeah absolutely yeah no, exactly we're good you know and so maybe when we get to that point we'd be like now nah, we want to make more yeah, I don't know. It's just like I get the whole. I bitched about this on Sp about Spotify before, but I get the whole idea that Spotify doesn't pay artists enough. But the only people saying that are people that get like three thousand streams. It's literally the, the equivalent of Metallica, just like like suing Napster because they're not making the money that comes off of those streams. Yeah, even though they already made a million dollars. You yeah, know? it's like come on, guys. I mean, like my thing is and that's what sucks is when you're when you're a musician like in our position, I don't make tracks and put them on spotify for the sake of money yeah like we're losing money and we know that we mm -hmm. accepted that you know because we're at that point where we have to put music on spotify and on whatever to seem legit legitimate yeah. which sucks but yeah like we have to pay to get like on spotify you know yeah and so that's like i don't know her music just is not for me also like started out country turned into pop country turned into pop turned into whatever the fuck she's doing now turned into whoever she's sleeping with <laughs> a song about them yeah for real i mean again to each their own whatever it's fine i get why people like taylor swift and she has a couple songs that i'm like all right cool yeah more credit to the producer at that point than it is probably her but yeah, yeah. i mean she also has grammy she, she's very successful so i can't deny her that but i think for me i'm just kind of like i really want to see the stats too like, i wouldn't get excited for a new song of hers coming out yeah i definitely don't but like i want to see the stats on it because like one big thing with her when she was like coming up was like oh she writes all of her songs i'm like that's not impressive to me. I don't know why. I don't know. It just wasn't That's impressive. She was young. I guess. But then, like, you look at the, the writing credits. She's one of the seven. Yeah. So, I mean, how much of that did she actually write? I will say that. What's, uh, what's, what's that one? 1990. The one that she there was one album that she actually 1989. Is it 1989? Yeah. I she tried got... trademarking uh, Party Like It's 1989. Gross. Yeah. And they're like, no. Prince already kind of did that with 1999, and now it's a little too much crossover. Yeah. No, no one fucks with Prince. Yeah, exactly. Not even Queen. Nope. <laughs> I'm trying to think of any other royalty names that are out there. Out yeah, there. I don't care. Lord. I mean, there's like <laughs> Count Basie, Royal Blood Orange, Duke Ellington. <laughs> yeah, we know Duke, <laughs> Sir Duke, Sir Duke. Yeah, that's actually about Duke Ellington. It's oh, there that. you go. Yeah, I don't know. Like it's. <sighs> It's also, this is going to sound ter terrible, because I was actually thinking about this Good. today. Fuck Taylor Swift. 
it's also one of those things where like her music isn't really meant for men either. It, I don't think it's meant for adults. I don't know if it's men specifically. I don't think it's meant for adults. And I know like that sounds really weird, but I was thinking about it too because it's like everyone's freaking out that Sierra is finally in Denver, and I'm like, why is everyone so obsessed with Sierra? And I'm like, I don't know who the fuck that is. Exactly. That, no, that's, that's like kind of point. Like, is she's, that like Sierra from like the like yeah. 90s hip hop? No, like 2000s. Yeah, like or 2000s hip hop. Yeah, like yeah, 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 like okay. She's married to Russell Wilson, and so I'm like, why are people so obsessed with it? And it's like because she was a huge part of like a lot of like people's lives, especially like girls my age. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. They love Rihanna. They love Sierra. I'm like, why is everyone so obsessed with Rihanna's belly? And it's like, oh, because they actually like. That, like yeah, it's like that's like that's like my Jack Johnson to a lot of people. Yeah, man. So like yeah, if Smash Mouth came to Denver, I'd definitely get excited for that, you know, because that was my teenaged like band. Yeah, yeah. But it's, yeah, it's like she has like more followers than Russell Wilson, like all these things, right? It's like men are looking at through the perspective of men, and like women like shit too, man. You know, so it's like Taylor Swift has a huge following when it comes to women. Mm-hmm. Um, and I might be but wrong. Like, on again, that, but again, specifically, it, it's like mostly children. I don't know. I actually, I actually know someone who's like. Like loves, like well, loves, yeah, loves Taylor Swift. There's, there's like, going to be like 10 to 15% that are not like under the age of 20. I mean, I guess like the equivalent like Ed Sheeran though. Because like I actually loved Ed Sheeran. Although his new album was, eh, it was okay. His, but oh, mm, but, like, but live performance, he's, he's Didn't phenomenal. he just do a song with Taylor Swift? Maybe. Uh, I thought they did. They could be wrong. I don't know. But yeah, I mean, T-Swizzle, she's for some. I, I'm more of a I'm more of a Katy Perry guy myself. I like Kesha. She's if I get into pop, that's definitely Kesha. That one. Yeah. I don't know. Just Katy Perry just has like this like weird five. Actually, no, I take all that back. My girl right now is Lizzo. I yeah, love no. Lizzo so hard. Yep. Well, guess what? Let Gee, us, that's time. Let us know what you guys think of Taylor Swift and Lizzo because she's the shit. Or Kesha, she's cool. she, it's bad bitch o'clock. It's six thirty. Oh, it's such a good line. Moving on. It's a good line. No, it's not. Round. And now for a 10 second nature break. And now your namaste for the day. Fuck, there's no birds. Where'd the birds go? Where'd they go? Birds aren't real. Four. Should we go to the next subject? Probably. All right, you guys. Next subject. So what's subject number four, Chris? Worst sport fans. Yes. I've been, I've been waiting for this one. Yeah, so you can talk shit on the Nuggets. <laughs> whoa, or whoa. not the Nuggets on Denver? No, just in general. Oh yeah, maybe. <laughs> no, just just Bronco fans. It's not Bronco. Okay, I don't know. I guess it's you know biased. you know exactly what I'm talking I about. I grew up a Cowboys fan in Colorado. I knew. What, I, I, I guess I didn't know, but yeah. <laughs> Wrong button, you dick. No, that's a correct button. No, was it? The, but I'm. Sh- nope, I wanted the laugh track. You dick. Yeah. So okay, I, I grew up a, uh, a Bronco. I mean, Cow. Jesus Christ. I'm having a stroke, I think. Hold on. I grew up a Cowboys fan in Colorado, and that always sucked. But I think the thing is, is like, I don't know. There's a lot of like fan, like fans out there that are just shitty because their teams won the championship. Yep. And like Bron- anybody from L.A.? Yeah, anyone from L.A. Hey, just L.A., just in general. Not even fans, just the city of L.A. <laughs> just people from L.A. can suck it. The Lakers fans are the worst. Actually, no, if we're, ta- if we're going, let's go every sport and cut okay. the name off. Right, okay. So I would say... Boston fans from like for like the Celtics, I hear they're pretty rough. Anyone from Philadelphia? Philadelphia is just a shit. Yeah, city. I think Red Sox fans are pretty rough. Yeah, I would say MLB the worst fans have to be LA. Oh, I don't know, man. Yankees fans fucking suck. I ah, know Cubs fans. I'm going uh, with Cubs, Cubs fans. fans are pretty shitty. Cubs <laughs> fans are pretty shitty. <laughs> We're just naming a bunch of like people. Well, like- well, so it's like I don't know. I grew up <laughs> like a moderate Cubs fan because they always sucked, right? And also, like, there was no, like, there was no sports, like, no Rockies, like, growing up, kind of. Like, oh, I, remember, I, mean, I remember the Braves in the 90s more than I do the Rockies. Yeah, because I mean, the Rockies were founded in, like, 94 or some shit. Whatever. <laughs> there was, like, a lockout for a year, so they didn't even start till 95 or something. Well, they, okay, anyways. Whatever. Anyway, not the point. <laughs> you got so upset. <laughs> so upset. <laughs> but, yeah, so, like, I don't know. It's just, like, there was moderate Cubs fans because they sucked. They lost all the time. They were not good. And then all of a sudden the Cubs started being good, and then everybody was a Cubs fan. And I'm just like, man, that's come how, on. That's how the bandwagon works. And man. then now, and then now they're all like, well, not any of my homies that have been Cubs fans for life, no, but like, fuck them. Those, but like random too. people that have been, you know, brand new Cubs shirt they got like two years ago, and they're just like, yeah, fucking Cubs are the best, blah. Yeah. Like that Rockies game we went to, that was so obnoxious, dude. Both of them. Yeah, and it's like, yo, you know, like yes, the, the Rockies was- won. 
Like, right? <laughs> like, we tied the, the series. The series you know is that? tied. You know well, that, right? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, it was pretty shitty. Like, this, like, they're like one of the guys who was doing the, the like, petty rides, petty cabs, like, was blasting, like, a Cubs theme song. And I was just like, dude, fuck this. Like, this is stupid. Yep. Um, so, yeah, I'll say MLB for me personally, it's the Cubs. Yeah. Uh, NBA, Golden State Warrior fans. I like the Golden State team. I hate the fans. Yeah. And I'm not too in depth in the NBA, but. I definitely would say Lakers fans. Oh, just just for, think yeah. big city, man. I'm mean, yeah, not yeah. big city because New York is just a depressing city right now for yeah. sports. I guess that's and true. It makes me so happy. Well, their baseball teams are fucking so. Are they the Mets? The Mets and Yankees are number one in their respective division, and then the Dodgers and the Angels are number one in their respective division. Gross. Yeah, that's yeah, that's disgusting. I mean, why, well, yeah. they were. I don't know if why they still have, are. As why I'm have recording. sports? If I was going to just be those two like main teams, I don't know. Whatever. Yeah. Call me jealous or call me like a bitch. It's fine. Bitch. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, so I'd say that. Uh, Bulls fans are kind of – I mean, the Bulls come off as a good, cool team. Yeah, man, the Bulls but were cool. But they're also probably all Cubs fans, so, yeah, they're probably shitty, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. Well, they might be Sox fans, White Sox fans. Oh, yeah. If they're White Sox fans, then, yeah, they fuck. Yeah. Actually, White Sox are cool. Yeah, my neighbors are White Sox fans, and, like, I remember talking to them about – because they're from Chicago. I remember talking to them about the Cubs. They got so pissed. They're like, excuse me, sir. Yeah. We're from the south side. Exactly. That's exactly what they said. <laughs> I was like, all right, my bad, my bad. Uh, okay, so let's go football. By far, it's got to be Raiders fans. We do NFL first, or you want to do college first? Uh, I don't know, college. Or you want to put them together? You can put them together. Because no one is worse than Nebraska Cornhusker fans. Didn't they get voted like the worst like sports base? Yes, they got voted on multiple articles multiple years in a row. There ain't too much goddamn corn over that there. They are the worst college football t- fan base. And I'm just like, yo. Not even, not even sectionally. It's just all sports. You guys fucking suck. Yeah, yeah. Curling, like, I don't know. The worst. So I have a lot of uh, family from Nebraska. They're obviously Cornhusker fans. That's where you get your dickness from. I guess. Your dickiness? But I'm a, I'm a CU Buffalo fan. Let's go, Buffs. Let's go, Buffs. Fight, see, and ten, fifteen. Okay, anyway. That's all I know. It's just yeah. go, Buffs. Um, but yeah, they'd always like, oh, CU fans are the worst. They're like so rude to us. I'm like... I'm never going to a CU game ever again if they're playing Nebraska. I'm like, why? Like, because they're so mean. I'm like, yo, you remember that time that, like, in Colorado, the Nebraska fan tried to jump me at that game? Do you not remember that? Because we went together. (laughs) Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I guess college-wise, there's probably, like, Alabama fans are probably really obnoxious. Yeah, I could see that. Like, any, like, good football college when you have, are fucking annoying. When you have like a stupid ass slogan like "roll wide," like yeah, you're gonna be a fucking obnoxious fucking person. Well, I mean, if you fuck your cousin, man, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> you gotta roll something. He's like, it's okay. It's my third cousin that I've slept with. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't getting married or nothing. <laughs> totally platonic, so it's fine. <laughs> oh God, we're fucking we're, awful. We're getting canceled for that one Good. for sure. Fuck Alabama. I never want to go there anyways. <laughs> I've been there. It's. I'd only want to go to Pretty Alabama shitty. just to go to uh, to Selma and to go to Montgomery. Yeah, I and, mean, there's and check out like all this shit that like civil rights have done for like Alabama. Yeah, there's probably like a bunch of cool shit in Alabama, but the Alabama I went to was not cool. And they get sad because there's still a shit ton of racism in Alabama. Ah, uh, probably, man. <laughs> Except for Alabama, because you know they they get black players. <laughs> yeah, all uh, tied. Um, Stupid. They they didn't get their first black player to like the 70s. <laughs> I wish that was a joke, but I'm pretty right. sure that's accurate. I mean, yeah. Um, anyway, God, Alabama, that state can suck it. So uh, if you're from Alabama, <laughs> thank you for listening. But also, you, if you're, you're just shit all over if, me, if, and you're like, thanks. Sorry. If you're listening to us from Alabama, <laughs> you're probably hating Alabama too. Let's be real. Yeah, there was no reason to listen to us. <laughs> like you're not gonna like listen to us from Alabama. And be like those damn people talking shit about Alabama. I'm not listening to this shit. Yeah. The coolest thing about Alabama is probably the Alabama upset. shakes. Yeah, and I think they're not even from, are they I from Alabama. I have no idea. <laughs> But they're pretty cool. <laughs> even Leonard Skinner ruined Alabama even more. <laughs> yeah, Leonard Skinner. The Sears best sucks. part of Alabama is literally Forrest Gump. And it's not even a real fucking town. <laughs> yeah. Also, I love the fact that this turns into like worst sports teams. And I'm they were just sh- shit on Alabama. We got seven seconds left. I'm going to shit all over Alabama. Well, it's either shitting on Alabama or shitting on LA. Because, I mean. Once next Saban leaves, you guys are so fucked. <laughs> well, that's time. <laughs> Uh, I think we're just gonna. You, th- you think in Alabama they talk this much shit about people from Colorado? Oh, 100%. What do you think they would say? Well, they'll probably call us Yankees. They're like, nah, man, we ain't the Yankees. Those we're damn, the Wild West, motherfucker. Those damn Coloradoans marrying their 
You know, it's actually their sisters. It's actually legal in Colorado to marry your first cousin. I just want to throw that out there. You know why it's legal in Colorado? Because it's never been an issue. Right. You know why it's illegal in Alabama? Because it's a fucking issue. I think we should probably just move on now. Fuck you, Alabama. Moving on. Final round. All right, y'all. Fuck you, Alabama. <laughs> yeah. Fuck you, Alabama. <laughs> <clears throat> all right y'all we're gonna move on to our final subject thank you guys again for tuning in to our special edition it's not really a special edition yeah we're just outside outside edition or outside edition of best of five what's yeah. the final subject chris sexy saxies <laughs> that's what you wrote down i love it i'll <laughs> laugh at my own jokes fuck you <laughs> yeah we should make a laugh track that's us Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it would be that. Um, okay, so this is pretty much going to be like songs that have saxophone in them that you just enjoy. Um, most of these are probably going to be from the 80s that I can think of. Yeah, I only know like a handful of songs, and I don't really even like remember the saxophone part necessarily. I just know it's there. Let's just be clear. In my opinion, the saxophone is the sexiest instrument. Mm, okay. The I intro to Careless Whisper, dude. I don't care who you are. Yeah, okay. Careless Whisper is probably the sexiest saxophone. It, it makes you want to take off your clothes immediately, even if it's like a sad song. Yeah. Because you have the drums. You're just like... Mm. Dude, that's like probably the best sax song. It is probably the best. In the history of sax songs. That's, there's well, that. I guess not including like... We're not talking about jazz. Fuck your jazzers. We're talking about 80s pop Yeah, we're saxophone. talking about like saxophone and pops. <laughs> yeah. Um more one of a more modern one which i think the sax is actually slowly coming back into music now which is kind of weird but i don't mind it okay uh the, there's a cheerleader song it starts off with the saxophone actually that's a trumpet never mind that's totally a trumpet never mind <laughs> should we just do horns the trumpet no we want sax baby I, don't, I know more songs with horns that are sick uh so you have that careless whisper you have uh the heat is on do 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 oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Bow, bow, that no one remembers but it's the opening to it. beverly hills cop Oh, yep. oh, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, I already remember that one. Uh God, what's that one where it's just like Oh fuck. It literally like the the saxophone just follows the melody line. Oh fuck, I can't we can't remember it. Uh, you just told me. Uh, oh god. Oh, bad to the bone. Uh no no no. Uh who can it be now? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Man at works. So that's a good one. That, too. Yeah, that's what it is. Okay. Ah, dude, the sax is the sexiest instrument. Yeah. After the kazoo, it, of course. Well, I guess it depends on like what sax too, right? Uh, I don't know. I think tenor sax is probably the sexiest for me. Yeah. And then the baritone. I think maybe the baritone might be sexier. I just think I like the tenor, tenor sax. Tenor. The I mean, let's be real. Tenor a little better. The best the best group that has a sax player is either the Burrows or Trash Cat. <laughs> because it's the same person. Because it's fucking Hayden, man. Hayden's the <laughs> shit. I fucking love Hayden. Yeah. I, I, I love jamming out with Hayden. So he's a, he's the, he's a, it's a baritone? Yeah, he plays Barry. Um, I'm pretty sure. I haven't seen him in a while. I'm pretty sure it's Barry. And a few years back, I was playing with the Jaeger, and I was like, hey, man, you have your, you have your sax with you? He's like, yeah, so he just joined me. And I've never seen like a, a musician so excited to just jam. I fucking love Hayden. That's, that's a good dude, dude. Yeah. Oh man, there was this dude. Uh, he used to. He runs the UNC recording studio. I can't remember his name right now. I want to say Greg or something like that. That dude crushes sex. Like we used to have open jams all the time at Chiba Hut. Yeah. And he would just like get off of work and walk over with his little saxophone and start shredding. It's like fuck yeah, dude. dude yeah. A good sax solo is always good. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> my favorite sax song is a uh, uh, wrong way. When we played uh, it. That's, yeah, I was like, that's a trombone. But Not when, when we, we played, played it, it, it was a saxophone. Because <laughs> <laughs> turns out it's easier finding a sax player than a trombone player. Yeah. They actually know a trombone Weird. player, too, now. John, I do, yeah, I know now one, one two now. Well, Fuck. Now, now we have to do it, I guess. I know one now, two. Two now, one. You know one now, also. <sighs> I failed I'm that sentence. I'm rubbing, on, I'm rubbing off on him. That sounded really <laughs> good. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Jeez, <laughs> rubbing me. Fuck you, Alabama. He's rubbing right. on me. No, so, I mean, like... Uh, <laughs> Are you cheering on that? I'm right. Oh, that's gross. Um, Man Eater actually has one of the greatest sax solos as well because it's, it's at the very beginning. How does that one go? It's just wow, Okay, wada. Yeah, see, I again, I don't remember, dude. Yeah, Man Eater, Hollow any notes. of these things. I don't remember any of these things. Ah, it's such a good one because it, it just like it doesn't even a solo. It's just like a vibe. Yeah, I guess it vibes. Ah, that's so pretty good. good. Uh, 
Because, I mean, there's a lot of sax songs that, like, the sax is just in the song, but it's not, like, featured. Is Ghostbusters, is that, is that, a, is, is that a sax? I think it's a synth. But it's, it's like a sax we, I don't synth, know. Right? We might have to listen to it. Oh, no, the... Yeah, I can't, I can't remember if it's a synth or a sax. Oh, man, that sucks. But, it, yeah, it's, it's, it's close enough. I'll count it. Yeah, we need to have a sax in one of my songs. Okay. Yeah. Good thing we know a sax player. Yeah, he's probably busy because he's a rock star. <sighs> I guess. <sighs> Fine. <laughs> I'll do it myself. <laughs> I'll, I'll play sax on the keyboard. <laughs> I can make it sound decent. No, I can't. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, Take Me Home Tonight. I don't know if that one has one. Really? I was like, there's a sax in that song? I feel like there's just like sax like a, behind everything, but not like an well, actual yeah, sax Well, yeah, there's solo. like a lot of sax stuff. Um, so much sax stuff. The fuck one were you just telling me about like the the la- the end of the song has a sax solo? Rick James, was it? Oh yeah, Rick James. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Super freak. He's all he, blow daddy. And then he goes into the It's not really a solo as much as it's just for, like eight times. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> it's still rock and roll to me does have one too in it too. That's actually probably the best part of the whole song. Okay. Yeah. What's yeah. the matter with me? <laughs> careless Whisper Man Eater. Still, yeah, still Careless Whisper is probably the best sax Dude, song. Dude, we forgot about the most important one. What's that? Money. Oh, yeah. How do we forget about money? <clears throat> yeah, I re- okay. Like, especially because yeah. especially that wasn't in, like in 5 8. Uh, 7 4. Oh, yeah, even worse. <laughs> yeah. No, 5 8's pretty stupid, G. Yeah, I mean, maybe. Because one two three four or one two three one two one two three one two one two three one two one two three. That's how you count that. That's stupid. Let's totally record in five five eight. <sighs> no, I'm good. What? Why? Because I don't want it. You're stupid. Am I? Am I stupid? Yes. Okay. Let's record in five eight and see which one's stupid. <laughs> let's see who can do it and who can't do it, and then let's come back to who's stupid or not. Any, any like Dave Matthews, pretty much. Doesn't he have like a saxophone player? Uh, <laughs> fucking. Uh, the only one I can think of on the top of my head is the ant song. It's point, 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 point. I'm the violin. Point, point, point. I was like, yeah, let's. <laughs> Dude, your neighbors are public. What the fuck is going on? Over yeah, I there? know, right? <laughs> Chippendales Rescue Rangers. Probably, man. Oh, man. I have no idea what that song sounds like. I'm trying to think of what it sounds like. I can't think of it either. Also, does anybody want to comment how their name is Chip and Dale? From you know that they're actually there's actually a Disney Plus like like show coming out of this. <sighs> like it's like a oh live yeah it has a Drake dude. No, um, the voice of one of them. I know the act. I can't. I can't think of his name. He's like a uh, funny guy. Old thing back. That's another good one. Yeah. And that's time. There's so many sax songs that we didn't get uh, or get into. Oh, in your eyes by the weekend. Yeah, I got nothing on that. Oh, that's a good one. There's also that's it's so good that Kenny G was like, let me get, let me get in on that, and he totally like remixes a song with a Kenny G thing. Yeah, any, any Kenny, Kenny G, G yeah. Kenny G song. I like how we mentioned Kenny G at the very end after the timer's gone. <laughs> so fucking stupid. But that's time, you guys. That was that was a show. That was our podcast. That was our our web episode. That is our Spotify thing. What? I don't know. I'm trying to think of like what else <laughs> we can call this this thing that we call a podcast. The Bell Tickler. I don't know why I went all like. Heh. Um, rate and like and shit. We're outside has brought out the worst in you. DVD extras. <laughs> Fuck Alabama. Wait, I'm on, I'm on the wrong board. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Fuck you, Alabama. Yeah. I was we'll on see, the wrong board. We'll see you guys next episode. For DVD extras. Good.